my name is Brenda Newburn, and I am the director for Visit Kate. We are here today celebrating Juneteenth here in Ivor Square in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Visit Cape is a convention and visitors bureau and we are involved in tourism and we want to put on events that bring people to our area, both business and leisure travel. So today what we're putting on is an event that's in the history realm. It's going to bring people in that want to enjoy the history and remember the oldest one of our celebrations for the freedom from slavery, the ending of slavery. So the reason we celebrate this is that so people who don't know about Juneteenth get a chance to learn about it because it's not widely known really. And it's another piece of American history that doesn't really get taught a lot. And I think the more that we understand about each other, the more that we learn about our past and history together, the better off we'll be going forward. Because if I know your story, you know my story, then we have some understanding, right? Then we can kind of work together. It's easier to work together if I understand you and you understand me. Right, so that's what we're trying to do. And then community is everything to me. So the more we can come together as a community, the better we're gonna be. We got barbecue, we got fish dinners, we've got four bands and a poet coming in. We got a kid zone. So if you got kids and you wanna just throw them over there, <laughs> let them do the ring toss. Excellent place to do it. It's got a lot of people looking out for them and making sure they're okay, so. Yeah, Juneteenth. You know, the time when every American was finally free. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Being who I am, it's an honor to celebrate the fact that someone found out and realized that it's not okay to enslave anyone. Freedom from slavery is what it's all about, and it took all of us to make that happen. And so by celebrating Juneteenth, it brings us together and it allows us to learn, grow, and become better understanding of one another and some of our biases and ways we do things, things we don't even realize that we subtly do to people. And then the other thing is we learn to love, love each other beyond our differences. And it's, it doesn't have to get into any deep discussions. As we all know, when you try to start talking about race and slavery, there's all kinds of emotions that start to rise and get in it, but we really need to talk about it and we really need to learn from it because if you don't learn from your mistakes, you will repeat them. Ivers Square is named after James Ivers and his wife Harriet, and they were enslaved at our Port Cape, right down the long stairs. They lived there, they were slaves there. And when the Union Army came into town and said, you can sign up to go fight in the Civil War for your freedom, James Ivers made his way up those steps and signed right here and he became one of the military people with the USCT troops. The beauty of that also is that slaves were sold here. So can you imagine? I think that when you come here, this land is almost spiritual. And what it does for me is that I can walk here and say to my ancestors, I'm free. You may have went into slavery for us, but it was worth the fight, I'm free. Today, I just want it to be a, a feeling of unity. I want us all to learn how to come together and be one. I want us to grow and to be open-minded and yet thoughtful enough to understand the things that we have to keep doing better. We haven't arrived, we aren't there, but if we don't keep striving, we'll never get there. And so I just want us to be unified, have fun, eat good food, and just rejoice on a beautiful day.